Welcome back. They were the first to rank the candidates back in 2008. And now politicalderby.com is back with which GOP candidates on top so far this time around. Right here in 2012. This is the presidential hopefuls. Get ready to face off in another big debate, and that's tonight. Joining us now is the editor of politicalderby.com. He'll probably be watching tonight, Jason Wright. Jason, welcome. Good morning. All right, Jason, handicap this field for us and use horse analogies. Is that possible? <laughs> Is that required? Yes. Right, let me, let me just Derby. remind folks, your longtime viewers back in 2008 probably will remember that the rankings at politicalderby.com are, they're less a prediction of who will win the nomination and more a snapshot of where the horses are on the track as of this minute. A lot of people ask how we come up with them. It's a very secret recipe. We take polls, a fundraising, a debate performance, just grassroots buzz, and we sure. put it all in a shake and bake bag, <laughs> one of my mom is old, and we shake it up like crazy, right. and we pull out the horses, and that tells us exactly as of this moment where the horses are on the track. All right, let's go to the track then. We can see over on the big screen in the first position, you've got the governor of Texas. Mr. Perry, followed by the former governor of the Commonwealth of Massachusetts, Mr. Romney, followed by Ron Paul. Let's start with Ron Paul. Ron Paul, that's right. This is the highest that the good Dr. Ron Paul has ever been in the power rankings. I wonder if a lot of voters, or the mainstream media for that matter, understand that Ron Paul now leads in the national polling averages over the likes of Michelle Bachman and Gingrich and mm -hmm. Herman Kane, this is a big deal. I mean, it's time right. to maybe take Ron Paul seriously. Now, I will tell you, uh, even the most ardent supporters of Ron Paul over at politicalderby.com, they will tell you that they don't believe that the good doctor can win the nomination, that he will win the nomination. They right. believe that this is more about setting the stage and shaping the platform for another Paul, right. Senator Rand Paul, uh, in another four years. Oh, really? That's Excellent. interesting. Uh, you know, of course, maybe people didn't hear Ron Paul say they're building a wall on our borders to keep us in. I thought that might have been a game breaker. Let's go to number two, Romney. Romney did well in the debate. I imagine this is a lot closer call than it was two weeks ago. Absolutely. Uh, absolutely. The gap is shrinking a little bit between Romney and Perry, although I will say this is the first time that Mitt Romney has not been ranked at the top of our ranking since our very first 2012 edition back in November. I think Romney did very well in the debate. I think he'll do well tonight. But you can't ignore the fact that he is trailing in the averages across the board uh, to the governor of Texas, Rick Perry, who and comes in in the show in the top spot. And why is he above Romney? I, I, you know, you can't ignore the averages. I mean, a lot of folks, including yours truly at politicalderby.com, we felt like uh, that big bounce, that spike that Governor Perry got after the announcement would phase and pop and, and fizzle by now. That mm -hmm. hasn't happened. He still has a, a clear lead. Um, there's time, obviously, for that, uh, for that to shrink. But I'll, I'll say I think uh, Perry did pretty well on that yeah. debate. I think he's got to do better tonight. I think he's got to do better moving forward against those other candidates on stage. Right. And maybe it's just me, but I felt like during that first debate, he did well during the first third, okay, in the middle. Mm -hmm. But toward the end, he maybe he it's ran me. Out of gas. Hey. I, I felt like I wanted to give him a glass of warm milk and a Snuggie and tuck and, him in a little and bit. And you should he have been faded. allowed to, Jason, and that bothers me. Jason Wright, <laughs> editor of politicalderby.com, thanks so much. We'll monitor your predictions uh, on the show. Thanks, guys. Have a great day. All right. Thank you very much. Go get uh, your shake and bake bag. And by the way,